Mr. Woody Allen. Hi, this is Mr. Bell from Great Lake, New York. I wanted you to know how much I disliked, really disliked your most recent movie, Cafe Society. I recently saw it on Kivo and Amazon. I have to tell you, it's the most anti-Semitic movie I've seen on TV anywhere. You may think it's a little strong to say it's anti-Semitic, but I am so sick and tired of the way you portray Jewish people in this country. It makes me sick. I'll give you some examples. Firstly, it's the way you portray Jewish women. In your film, you'll never have an attractive, intelligent Jewish woman. And, and uh, if they exist, they're like the Yentas or um, not very attractive a Jewish mother in uh, cafe society, or the sister. The only women who are glorified are Gentile women. In this movie, you have a Jewish woman as a prostitute, and attractive young woman, a little nervous. So the uh, Jewish prostitute she gets the main character nervous because uh, she's Jewish. And your standing character doesn't want to have sex with her because she's Jewish. I have never seen a Jewish, a pretty Jewish girl in any Woody Allen movie. Then we have the character of the uncle, the Jewish mogul who uh, craves after a uh, Gentile girl, the beautiful, sensitive, intelligent, young Gentile girl, which in a way reminds me of uh, a lot of the Woody Allen movies where the young, sweet Gentile girl is put up on a platform while an older person is not. Another thing about the movie is the portrayal of uh, the brother of the hero. He's a gangster, a murderer. He kills people in cold blood and dumps them into a grave, unmarked grave. What a way to portray a Jewish man in the 1930s. Another thing is the way you portray the, uh, the mother of uh, the boy. Couldn't you pick uh, a person who was a little more attractive than Ina Berlin? And then you have the cliche of uh, the Jewish man as a communist. Everything about the movie is one cliche after the other about Jewish people. It's, it's 2017. We have Jewish people who are scientists, writers, doctors, lawyers, politicians. Can you possibly think about changing some of your stereotypes to include some of these kinds of people? But no. Another thing that really is troublesome is the way the Jewish movie mogul takes advantage of the Gentile girl. It reminds me a little bit of the movies that were made in Poland and Germany, uh, which have the Jewish factory owner taking advantage of the uh, 
young Polish princess. Don't you understand, Mr. Allen? You're feeding into these kind of stereotypes that a lot of people uh, take as factual. So think about it the next time you make a movie. You may be hurting uh, the Jewish people in, in this country and maybe even in England or Russia or Poland or Israel. So think about what I've talked about today. And maybe you can make some changes in your next movie. And shalom.